Hey there, Aries. Hope you guys' this weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out for your guys' as highest as good at this time. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Aries. It's for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries. Tell about Aries, please. Aries. Aries. Rekindle. Uncertainty. One more. Disregard. Okay, so somebody knows that something ain't going to work out their way. So this is someone that wanted you to feel disregarded, left out, possibly didn't even want you to have something here. And now this person's trying to figure out how to come back and shame you. I want to guilt trip you here. So overall energy for Aries. Overall energy for Aries, please. Thank you. Patience. Accepting that everything happens in divine order here. Somebody's been patiently waiting for you to, to come towards them and you're not coming. And somebody is running out of patience now. That's why they're trying to come towards you. So we're trusting our intuition. We know that we're always being guided in the right direction here. Somebody's trying to get you to trust them. And then your success. So you're going towards your success. If somebody here did everything in their power to stop some kind of success. It could be love. It could be, you know, career. It could be both here. But somebody knows that you have this, like, because the card says, I know there's no greater goal than to love. So somebody is trying to, somebody didn't want you to be looked at in a good light. And somebody didn't want you to have this unconditional love for self. And someone sure didn't want someone else to show up for you. But I'm picking up on love and success for somebody here. And somebody doesn't, like, wants to get in the way of that. Aries. Aries to explore the unknown ahead so this is about trusting our journey that intuition that trust this is about us going down the right path somebody didn't want you to trust a path that you're clearly meant to be taking for yourself and somebody is still trying to figure out how to steer you off the path that leads you to your success your love just ultimate happiness someone's trying to steer you down the path that leads back to them and this is his independent and brave energy. Somebody doesn't like that you're standing in your independent energy. Brave. Someone didn't expect for you to be so brave. So lone wolf energy. Not needing to be around a group of people to feel important. Know how to rock on your own. Somebody didn't realize this about you. So you're the type of person where you're independent even if you're in a relationship. You don't need to cling on to somebody here. Like you give somebody their space. Like you know you want to have your own sense of self and let your partner have their own sense of self. So we, some people get too engulfed in someone else's and they try to dictate your life and you're not letting anybody do that anymore. Good. The current state is safe. So this is about trusting if you have been through like an isolation period where you haven't had anybody come towards you or, you know, when we're growing spiritually and we're tapping in with our calling and what we're supposed to be doing, you know, we get put in a timeout because we're meant to like, tap into who we are, our spiritual team, just finding out what we're supposed to be doing. And somebody doesn't like that you're getting ready to pop out of that step. Like you're getting ready to come out of all these challenges here. And there's like some important pathways that you're meant to be taking here. So somebody for sure thought that they had this situation locked down and safe because you weren't doing anything. But now this person clearly sees that you're getting up that staircase and you're getting ready to take off here. Aries, inner child, embracing your past, knowing that it has made you the person that you are today. So this is doing that beautiful inner child work for yourself, being the person that you needed to be when you were a child, being that person for yourself today. So this is about embracing our past. So a lot of you guys have really been doing a lot of shadow work, just really, um, you know, healing triggers and traumas and things that you've been through in the past. So that's part of that isolation period as well. And then there's your prosperity. So I have a prosperous mindset. I know that I live in an abundant universe and that I will flourish, grow, and succeed. So you're you got this very high vibing energy where you're able to to draw things towards you with that law of attraction, and you clearly are drawing drawing some prosperity towards you here. And then joy. I embrace joy. I have a sunny disposition and positive outlook. So this is about you still remaining high vibing, loving, committed to self. And when you're ready to commit to someone new, if you or you could be talking to somebody new right now. So this is about just being joyful no matter what's going on around you. Staying in that vi high vibing energy and not letting anybody knock you back. Even when being in this, this time of being alone here, still embracing who you are and just loving life and just appreciating the lessons. 
And then we've got wisdom. I speak as my higher self. My words uplift, empower, and inspire others. So that's beautiful. You're a very old soul. You're very wise. You speak as your higher self. And you definitely use your words to uplift yourself, empower yourself, as well as words to uplift others and empower other people as well. That's beautiful. What needs to be surrendered for Aries? What needs to be surrendered for Aries? Thank you. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So that isolation period, again, this was all about you tapping into your full power, that higher consciousness like, that I was talking about. So stepping into your full power, you could have Leo and your moon rising or Venus or North Node. But this is also about taking your power back and not letting anybody deplete your power anymore. You could have dealt with a Leo. Surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. So this is about you attracting all the success. So there's that staircase again. So there's something here about you really embracing the challenges and moving through everything and just trusting the process and knowing that I have gone through this for a reason. It's for me to shift my perspective and really, you know, tap into my higher calling, what I've been called to do in this lifetime here. Somebody did everything in their power to try to procrastinate your success. Try to procrastinate some kind of prosperity that clearly is gravitating towards you at this time. So, surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing. And focus back on those positive affirmations here. So, somebody doesn't like that you're no longer operating out of negative thinking anymore. That's also what was part of your isolation period. Is like getting rid of old belief system. Redirecting our thoughts to positivity after we start, you know, when we're thinking negative. This is also about not letting anybody project their negative energy onto us. Learn how to observe, not absorb the energy. I'll tell you about rekindle. So somebody's trying to rekindle. Lovers. This is someone that doesn't want you to choose someone else. This person still could be entertaining someone else and trying to come towards you. So this is somebody here that is really trying to figure out how to get you to look at them as like they're the one for you. Tell me more. Now this person's worried about you having someone else. So there, it, some of you guys could be talking to somebody new or this person knows that you're interested in somebody new and that's why they're trying to like get you to, to choose them. So this is somebody here that sees that you've been taking all the burdens and the baggage and laying it down, transmuting that energy. And this is somebody here that is like, this is a type of person where they're carrying around a lot of burdens in their own life. This person could have created some more baggage since you guys had a disconnect. And it's like they want to come in here and lay all that down. And some of you guys will take on this person's burden. So, but they want to like put all of the, the beef that you two had between each other and just lay it to rest. But somebody wants to dump their baggage onto you, their burdens onto you, I keep getting. So this person wants to try to use some kind of emotions to try to get you back. So this is someone that's very manipulative though. This person's worried about somebody new showing up for you. But there's something about your emotions being more aware because that, that healing work is definitely significant here about what you got going on. Like as far as like this person is not able to like guilt trip you and make you feel bad like they were able to before. Like they like to pull on that beautiful empathy of yours. So this person's trying to get you to invest into them. This person's worried about someone else interested in you. I keep getting that. This is someone that clearly sees that you've grown, that you've really been planting those seeds for your um your prosperity and everything is um flourishing for you. That it's headed your way here. So this person wants to try to get you to invest, trying to offer you something. They want to extend their hand of loyalty. This is somebody here that knows that you're getting ready to, to receive some kind of um, financial gain, and they, that's why they want to get back here. This is a heartbreaker. This is somebody here that betrays. This is somebody here that is still could be entertaining someone else here. This person still could be messing with someone else. I keep getting that. So this person's heartbroken that you're still getting something here. Yeah, there's third-party energy here. And this person's trying to figure out how to reconcile with you. This is somebody here that doesn't want you to have something here. Like they, It's like they try to get in the way of your success and your love life here. And they're realizing that they can't do either one of those things. So they're trying to come towards you. This person could have regrouped a whole group of people to try to you know, come up against you. And that still didn't work either. This person still sees that victory is yours. Success is still yours. This is a very selfish person that sees that you've got wish fulfillments coming in. So this is someone that wants to get back into your good graces because you're getting ready to take off here. Talk about uncertainty for Aries. So this person knows that something ain't going to work. This person knows that you've done a lot of healing work. This is someone that didn't expect for you to gain so much power during this timeout that you had for yourself. It's like you went in a spiritual timeout so you could heal 
you know, wounds and things. We're always healing and growing as people. Like, that's, you don't just heal one, one round of it and that's it. No, there's plenty of steps to elevating here. So this person knows that you pulled away, that you're detaching, and they are, they, they know something ain't gonna work. Tell me more. They having a tower. They can't believe what they're seeing. They can't believe that everything is still headed your way. This person did everything in their power to cause tower moments for you, but all it did was like, it might have shaked your foundation, but it just built you back up stronger. So, and now this person's in their head, stressing, worrying. This person wanted you to not even be sure about yourself. So this person could have done things to try to keep you binded, restricted. Wanted you in like low vibing energy where you felt like you didn't deserve things. Like, like you didn't deserve love. You didn't deserve this prosperity. Like this person knows that something isn't going to work. They're now stressing. They're in their heads now. So we got star energy. So this person knows that you clearly have been really, really healing and, and transmuting that energy. Some of you guys, somebody could be well known. So somebody didn't want you to feel like you were able to reach a certain level of fame. That's for somebody. And there's like, for somebody, there's like somebody that's got some kind of um, like a well known person trying to come towards you. So somebody here feels stuck because somebody knows that you aren't stuck, that you're still moving forward. Somebody may have been able to slow you down a little bit. But that's about it. You're still moving forward. Even if it's baby steps, make sure you're celebrating that for yourself. Somebody's trying to get you back in a contract. There could be a marriage involved. This person's going to tell you they want marriage. And if there was somebody new looking at you in a good light, this person didn't want someone to look at you as marriage material. So this person's trying to take some kind of action towards you. And this person didn't expect for you to take action in your own life. And now they know that you look at this situation differently. They know that you've been shifting your mindset. And now they're trying to come galloping in. This is a very impulsive, reckless energy trying to come in here and trying to get you to look at them differently now. They try to do everything they could to keep you stuck. So this person views you as powerful. This is somebody here that knows that you are a force to be reckoned with, let's just say. Like, this is like a jealous person that tried to paint you out in this lighting. Man, somebody didn't want you to be looked at like in a good lighting. I keep getting that too. Somebody wanted to make it seem like you were jealous, like a low, jealous, low vibing energy. But that's not who you are. So somebody is uncertain about who you are as well. Somebody didn't realize how powerful you are. I keep getting that too. Something about your manifestations and the way that you're able to pull everything towards you with that law of attraction. Somebody is like, they like, who the hell is this person? Type energy. So... Tell, somebody tried to do something to make you uncertain about yourself too. I keep getting that. Somebody you could have somebody could do magic theirself or they paid somebody or they knew somebody to do something to keep you stuck in low vibing energy where you weren't overcoming these challenges, which you clearly have. You outrank somebody else that was trying to do magic on you, just so you know. Lies, illusions, trying to keep you stuck in your own lies and illusions. And now this person's trying to come back here with more lies and illusions, trying to figure out how to, you know, get back into your life. Like, you need to remember that this person did everything they could to destroy you. So what makes you think they ain't going to destroy you from the inside? It's like a person trying to come in and do an inside job and still trying to mess with your success. Or they want to leech off of it. Tell about disregard. So somebody doesn't like the way that you're able to keep your silence. There's something here about... Somebody really wanted you to, to feel disregarded, not good enough, lacking. But there's something about your high-ranking energy here, like very high-ranked spiritual. So this downtime, all it did was make you tap into your, your power more. And now this person is trying to figure out because you're keeping your silence and you are trusting your intuition and the downs of, downloads that you're receiving. And now they're, now they're like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Tell me more. Disregard. God, man, people crack me up. So this is somebody here trying to strategize. This is somebody that's been, um, this is someone that's been moving in silence, making it seem like they ain't been trying to destroy you, which we already know you have been. So it's all right. <laughs> so this is about moving in silence and not letting everybody know what you got going on. And like, clearly you've been going through a time frame where you were moving in silence because you were tapping in. It was for your highest good. This person is trying to tiptoe now towards you because they see that you are still moving forward. And this person did everything in their power to try to end you, try to end everything that was coming towards you. 
So now this person knows that something's done for them and they're trying to get back into your life. And here's those scales balancing back out. So justice is here. Could be some kind of court situation that somebody didn't want you to show up for court or they didn't want you to receive some kind of paperwork. They wanted to try to stop that. That's for somebody. But these scales are balancing back out now and this person's panicking because something's going in your favor now and they wanted everything in their power to, to stop that from coming towards you. Man, this is a very manipulative person. Also somebody that doesn't like to feel defeated. This is someone that you defeated whether you were even like realize it or not. A lot of you guys weren't trying to like, you know, seek revenge. You don't do that. But this person feels like you like you got revenge on them or something, but that's not what's going on. It's it is what it is. That's that karma. Those are those those tables turning. So somebody didn't want you to receive some kind of offer. Now somebody is trying to come towards you with some kind of an apology. Doing whatever they can to try to get you back or an emotional gesture here because somebody doesn't like to apologize. So this is someone that's mad that you healed your inner child, that you're able to raise your vibration here. And now they want to try to offer something here. This, uh, this person sees you in this very independent energy. Everything around you flourishes. You draw in that prosperity. You just draw in all your growth. Everything looks good on you. Everything looks good around you. Everything looks, you look good. Everything around you looks good. You feel good. You smell good. You look good. Everything looks good. And this person didn't want you to have this. And they see it, that you're a catch. And they know that someone else is going to come in for you. And some of you guys may want to be by yourself too. So a lot of you guys were called to learn to be in that self-growth energy. So somebody is trying to come towards you and offer something to you now. This is somebody that's lacking. This is someone that wanted you to lack. They didn't want you to pour into yourself. And they clearly see that you have. And man, this is someone that wanted you to have a lack mindset. They didn't want you to think that you could have this prosperity. And now they're feeling left out in the cold. And they want to have a conversation. And this is about you cutting any of that low vibing energy off. See, somebody did everything in their power to stop this prosperity coming for you. And now somebody wants to have a conversation and come towards you. Because you clearly are pulling all this towards you still. Somebody didn't want you to have prosperity, love, or both. Tell me about shame for Aries. Someone tries to shame you. So somebody, somebody doesn't want you to have a solid foundation. Somebody wants to make you feel bad because you're, you're laying out a, a better foundation for yourself. And somebody's trying to figure out how to shame you. This person could show up to your house. They could send us something to your house. Something about your home environment. So there, this person could have like done everything to like keep you isolated in your house, and then they wanted to try really have you focused on your wounds and your triggers and that lack mindset. And it all has to do with your home environment. But this person thought that they won this battle because you were, you know, chilling in your own in your environment. But all it did was make you tap in more. So all it did was it it blew up in this person's face what they tried to do to you. Tell me more about shame. Tell me more about shame. The world. Somebody didn't want this cycle to close out. Somebody wanted you to be stuck in this cycle of, you know, guilt, shame, remorse, that negative mindset, talking to one, yourself negatively, and you're not. So this person is mad that the cycle is closed out and you're opening up a new one. Better things are coming, and now they're trying to come back and shame you because they still want to be stuck in the cycle with you. So somebody... Wants to try to make you feel bad because there's something here about you, your your growth here, your 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 spiritual growth, your your mental growth, your physical growth, your emotional growth, and your financial growth. All of this is coming towards you, and this person is trying to get you to invest into them. So they want to make you feel bad because they want to get in on this good life that is you're creating for yourself. So. This is somebody here that is like money hungry, an opportunist. And they want to try to make you feel bad. This is somebody that is doing everything in their power to try to get back into your good graces. And this is somebody here that is um, for sure thought that they had won this battle by, by smearing you, making you feel bad about yourself. Threes could be significant. You could be seeing threes. You could be life path three. So... Somebody wants to make you feel bad because you're keeping your head hell high and you're moving forward. You're taking your love elsewhere. Or they want to make you feel bad because you have better options coming towards you. Or if you have someone already, they want to make you feel bad because you're opening up for something new. And this is somebody here that is trying to figure out how to use emotions to try to come towards you because they're very selfish. 
This is a very selfish person that only cares about their wants and needs. And they're mad and pissed off that you still have wish fulfillments coming in for you. I've got Earth, Gemini, Fire, Water, Air, Scorpio, Pisces, Air, Aries, Air, Libra, Fire, and Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. So they want to try to shame you. Don't let them do that. Also someone that has abandonment issues and they wanted to really focus on things that you felt abandoned about. They wanted you not to have something. They wanted you to have a mindset where you didn't feel like you deserved something. And now they're mad that that didn't work out and they're mad they're being left behind. This is a player energy. This is somebody that just entertains anybody. This is someone that has a backup plan. Just in case you don't work out, they'll have a backup plan. This is someone here that's really knows that you've been doing a lot of inner work reflecting. Some of them have been doing mirror magic on you and that ain't working. So somebody here is going to try to come back and make it seem like they have been reflecting and doing the work like you have. And that's good if they have, but go do it by yourself. This person is disappointed that nothing that they did messed with you. It, all it did was make you stronger. They're disappointed all this drama didn't work. The letter D's are significant. First, middle, or last initial D's are significant. But this drama, it didn't work. All they did was create drama for themselves. And now they're trying to come back in with this mask on. Trying to make it seem like they ain't been doing what they've done to you. But you already know. I'm picking up on somebody that definitely is tapped in and they know what's going on. Aries. Aries. Gossip. This person wanted to gossip about you. Wanted you to have a bad reputation. You know, just really running their mouth about you. Yeah, that didn't work. Tell me more. Old soul. Mm -hmm. Reading between the lines. Be wise and pay attention. You can see the truth clearly here. So make sure that you're just reading between the lines with anybody that comes towards you at that matter. I don't care if it's past, new. Just, just seeing things for what it is. Letting go of the old you, honoring the cycle that you are in, and what goes around comes back around. So this person doesn't want to receive what they were trying to give to you. And you're letting go of the old you that somebody clearly wanted you to stay stuck in. So this is shocking. Somebody's shocked now. And expect the unexpected because you've got some beautiful things coming your way here. Tell me more. It's temptation. Sorry, guys. My stomach growled. i got to eat. Um... Somebody is trying to tempt you back in with an offer by trying to get them back. They want you back. So, man, somebody really thought that you were weak. Somebody did everything in their power to keep you stuck in this weak energy, but you're none of those things. Tell me more. Tell me more. Miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. Luck is on your side. Beautiful. I love that for you. That's three cards now of financial gain coming towards you. So this devil energy did everything it could to keep you trapped and bound to it. And you clearly broke those shackles. And somebody's got some kind of obsession with you. Addictions, poor habits, codependency. That's what this energy was hoping that you were going to be stuck in. And you are clearly none of those things. This person's got some kind of codependent issues. That's why they're trying to tiptoe back into your life. Third, fourth card of success. Prosperous life, unexpected windfalls. And you know your worth and value. That's why you're attracting all these high vibe things towards you. Beautiful. So repeating numbers are definitely significant. So somebody could definitely be seeing threes right now. So pay attention to repeating numbers. You are not alone. So just knowing that everything that you're attracting towards you is not by accident. It's, it's everything that you've been calling towards you. So man, I'm telling you, somebody's very greedy. Somebody is very greedy trying to figure out how to get their hands back on your life because you've got all these good things headed your way. Very possessive, very selfish person trying to come back. And this is someone that was trying to paint you in this light, but you are none of those things. You are a natural leader. You stand out from the rest and you rule somebody's heart and somebody's mad that you're still getting something. And there's this offer coming in. Somebody doesn't want you to have this offer of love. Somebody that's got old fashioned views. Like this is someone that may even open the door for you type energy. That's beautiful. So they're still, chivalry is not dead. They're still out. They still out there. Yeah, they're harder to come by, but they're still there. Somebody wants you to have a scarcity mindset. Emotional and material loss, but you ain't having neither one of those things. So if anything, this energy that tried to come for you, they're the one that's going to be left out in the cold for trying to come for you. And you had a rebirth process. This is about discovering who you are. That's the isolation period that you went through. 
doing that dark night of the soul. Not everybody can do the dark night of the soul because you got to really dig in there and look at things about yourself that a lot, a lot of people can't do that because their ego gets in the way. You've had an ego death. Beautiful. And we go through more than one dark night of the soul, by the way, too. So just trust that process, man. You don't even know. Like, well, you do. You'll find out. Like, I, I've been through a few myself, and I know there's more to come. I'll just trust the process. That's all you can do. Aries, somebody's getting some kind of screenshot. Somebody's got some kind of evidence. Somebody may try to come towards you with, like, some kind of proof. Like, somebody, this person may try to come towards you and make, and try to, Point the finger at somebody else and like use like a screenshot to to use to, to, to guilt trip you more. Tell me why. Always partying. So somebody's always partying, running around, doing the most. This person thought you was gonna be doing these things and you're not. You 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 was called to to go within and you you trust the process. This is an energy that was celebrating your downfall and it ain't happening. Groupies. So this person's been going around entertaining groupies, sleeping with this one, this one, that one, that one. And you ain't been doing none of that. So this is like a whole group that tried to come up against you. They they all talk about each other behind each other's back is what's funny though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So this whole group of people couldn't even take you out. Someone wanted you to be rejected. Somebody doesn't like that they are now being rejected. Somebody wanted you stuck in bad habits. So somebody thought you was going to fall back into old habits. It doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol, just whatever that was for you. And you're clearly outgrowing all of that. This energy, these people got some bad habits, but they want to focus on your bad habits. Somebody who lives at a distance, somebody could be planning on traveling towards you. Some of you guys want to travel for work or you may already. Just something here about you just getting back out there and enjoying life, moving around. And these are keyboard warriors. These are people that like to move behind the computer screens and move through other people. Big old bullies. You know, bullies. I can't stand bullies. So sometimes bullies need bullied in my book. But nah, I like to fight the darkness. Sometimes these bullies need a big old dose of get some act right. So they won't say it to your face though. I guarantee that. They're they cowards. That's all they are. Cowards. Someone knows that you're no longer interested and somebody didn't want someone else to be interested in you. Your light irritates their demons. Uh-huh. Keep shining that beautiful light of yours. Somebody tried to create a triangle in your love life. Somebody's still trying to create a triangle in your love life because you got some kind of like old-fashioned love headed your way. Somebody that still believes in tradition and this is someone that wants to get in the way of that. And this person already tried to paint you in a light as you were non-committal. Continue reflecting. Ground your energy. Meditate. So something here about just continuing to reflect and going within. Trusting that. And you're too busy winning. Someone tried to knock you off your grounding energy, but you you, you remained where you were. You you can't budge. You you're not you you won't be budged. And now someone's trying to come back and kiss your butt because they know you're winning. Somebody's trying to manipulate you. Somebody's trying to get you hook, line, and seeker with these feelings, but there's something about you being more aware now. Well, the person ain't shh. They tried to say that you weren't shh. But that's how you feel about yourself. Somebody could be a tattoo artist or just a good drawer. Somebody creeping. Somebody creeping. They see that you ain't phased by what they did. None of these people that tried to come up against you ain't phased by it. You don't care. Someone's talking crap saying that you're broke. You're this, you're that. All right. Some people's definition of being, you know, well off is someone else's definition so when we start moving away from the 3d and enter the 5d finances don't impress us yeah we all want to be able to have financial freedom but it's not about you know it's not about power and control with these other energies it's all about power and control someone wanted you to not have something somebody's about to go broke for messing with you these are talking crap their ego this is someone that ego gets bruised so they have to you know when you hurt them or you not hurt, not that you're trying to hurt them. There's something about you tr speaking the truth and the facts. And then when you hit them with the truth and facts, the ego gets bruised. So they got to run their mouth about you and just a very vicious energy that you dealt with here. Gosh. Aries. Somebody really wanted you to be obsessed on your brokenness and you're not. So it was someone tried to shatter you, destroy you. Somebody's trying to come back and, and you know, Make you feel bad. Somebody is definitely obsessing over you. 
Somebody looks at you in a good light. And somebody wanted you not to have something. Somebody wanted you to be abandoned, left out. And somebody's mad that they are now being the ones being left out. Someone was hoping and wishing that you wasn't able to pull this towards you. And you still are pulling your success towards you. Your manifesting is your manifestations are coming in. So somebody for sure that you were gonna like give up hope on yourself and you never did. Beautiful. And now you're giving yourself the final goodbye. Moving forward, going on your journey here. And somebody is trying to get you to have you know, this person could try to get you to have a final talk with them. They're trying to get back into your life altogether. So something about the the truth and the clarity being exposed. Somebody's not being honest trying to come towards you, and somebody's conflicted. Somebody's conflicted. Somebody wanted someone else to be conflicted about a new beginning when it comes to you. And then this is about this past energy trying to come back and get in the way because they clearly know you've got some new things making their way towards you. So they want to try to make you feel conflicted, making you think that you're not going in the right direction when you clearly are. So this person knows that they can't do the bare minimum or say the bare minimum to keep you hanging on to hope another day. This is about you taking your life back day by day. I'm drawn back to that staircase again. So that's about going up that staircase and trusting the process day by day and just knowing that you're going in the right direction. Some days it may feel like, you know, what's going on in my life? Just continue moving forward and trust it. Somebody wants to have a second chance. They want to make amends with you, but somebody knows that you've got some beautiful things making their way towards you. And there's a soul connection, some kind of beautiful, um, deep love headed your way. And this person's trying to get in the way of that by saying you're their deep love. Trust your intuition with anybody that comes towards you. Something about telepathy. So when when we get into union with somebody that is like of high vibing, like it very well could be some kind of telepathy for some of you. So just make sure you're just trusting your intuition. Trusting your intuition with these endless possibilities making their way. And that's with love, success, all areas of life. Because I'm picking up on somebody that's getting ready to travel on some new paths here. So just make sure you're choosing the right path for yourself. So we've got some kind of confession trying to come in here, but somebody is trying to figure out how to use deception and this trickery energy to try to keep you stuck so you're not moving forward. Somebody wants to, and there's like a new energy, like there's like a new person. It could be career, it could be love, it could be both, but somebody's trying to try to come towards you and confess something here. And while you got a past person trying to keep you stuck, somebody's trying to get you to be longing for them. But there's something about you shifting your perspective, knowing that you're better off, you're happier. And then... There is like a new energy that still looks at you in a good light because somebody is shifting their perspective about you as well because somebody realizing that what was said about you is not the truth. And somebody's shocked. The way that you're able to transmute that energy, move forward. Somebody did not expect all this trouble and this chaos they tried to, to send your way or say, do, sent your way. You released it. You transmuted it and they're shocked. And now they're mad. They're mad. They're hanging on to an old version of you that's not there anymore. Very resentful, mother effer. <laughs> very angry, very mad. Mad at the world, mad at the lot, mad at themselves, mad at you because you overcome some things. So this person's trying to figure out how to get you to cling on to them still because there's better things coming in for you. Huh. Aries, Aries, gotta laugh at this stuff. You gotta have a sense of humor, man. I have. I, I'm such a comedian. I like to laugh. You gotta have fun in this world. When you continue to reminisce, replay, or hold on to what could have been, you continue to hold yourself in a place of resistance. Let what was inspire a new way of living. Don't allow to, to limit and determine what can be. Oh, that long card. If you frequently give yourself permission to doodle, wander, and be totally unproductive, and you can actually relish such interludes, I can guarantee that your genius, creativity, and productivity will incre increase exponentially. That was a, long, a lot of long words. Make sure you're giving yourself time out to play. Get in touch with that inner child here as well because I'm really picking up on somebody that's really after their goals and you're definitely attracting everything towards you. Focus on what is important to you. Don't give your time or energy to your worries as this will only amplify them. Focus on what matters to you most with every thought you are creating your future here. So mm -hmm. watch your thoughts, where they're going. Trust your process because you clearly got some beautiful paths making room for you at this time. But you, of course, you're going to have this person try to come back in here and mess with you. It'd be like that. So learn to stand in your independent energy with, with anybody at that matter. But just learning to break free from this person that's trying to come back for you. So, all right, beautiful Aries. That was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Wednesday.